Hi guys, rainy day. I've been asked to do something with a solar panel, an LED, and a capacitor. I've rigged it up like this so we can see all round it. Uh, I can't remember what that one is. 25 volts. 330 microfarads. So, as you can see, it's a dull day, nothing's happening. Uh, which way round are we? Positive, negative, no, yes, no, no. That's negative, that's positive. I... Anyway, let's see if we can just boost it a little bit. Got it going. So yeah, how does that work then? I mean, obviously, it's a fake. And I'll show you what I did. <laughs> yes, it's a capacitor, but it's not the original capacitor. I stripped it out. There's two little button cells in there to give us three volts. I mean, if you thought about it, that LED is not going to light up from a single button cell anyway. Not from a one and a half volt button cell. But magically, shining the LED on the solar panel is generating more than enough power to light the LED. If I wiggle this a little bit and break the circuit, if you look carefully, that leg moves. So when I'm apparently boosting it a little bit, I'm just making contact with the button cells that are inside. It's not April the 1st, but I really should have done this one on April the 1st, shouldn't I? And the only reason we're using that particular capacitor is I had about half a dozen of them, so I could rip one apart to use the components, or I say the components, the, the metal case, the plastic wrapping, and the rubber um, seal at the bottom. All the bits of wire are paper clips. I just thought they were handy because that will hold it all steady for me. And give me just that bit of flexibility. Thank you for watching. Hi guys, rainy day out there. I've been asked to do a little demonstration here with a solar panel, an LED and a capacitor. Somebody wants to know if the LED is going to power the solar panel and then that will feed back the energy to the LED so that it feeds the solar panel, so that it feeds the LED. Oh, and we're going to have a capacitor in the middle to actually store the energy. This is a fake. 
I just carefully split the plastic coating on this capacitor. I'm going to empty it out. Put a couple of button cells in it and use that to power the LED. So like I say, this will be a fake. Got the end cap out and I'm just pulling the insides out of the capacitor. I'm trying not to damage it at all so it doesn't look too obvious. That's the inside of the capacitor. Yep, that's going to fit in there okay. So we need to join a couple together and put them in there. have to insulate them, otherwise they'll just short out on the metal case. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.